What's up guys, Technicals here today, taking a look at a brand new ASIC because people love it when brand new ASICs come out. They, uh, they like to clamor over it. Gets lots of views, hopefully anyway. Uh, so this was announced in the uh, Swift Mining Telegram channel. Uh, he teased it a few days ago, uh, saying that he'll be announcing a brand new ASIC soon and he'll be the first to have it. Uh, so it looks like this is an ETHash uh, ASIC machine. I don't know Jack about ETHash ASICs, never got one, never got into it. Mined Ethereum on GPUs back in the day. And after that, I was done with it. So this is coming from, uh, it looks like the brand name you mentioned is the uh, EZ100. And it looks like we've got some uh, Chinese characters here. I don't know what that says. I don't know if that's the, uh, the company's name, the manufacturer's name or what, uh, but it is the EZ100 at hash and Zill miner. Um, currently pulling 12.8 giga hash on at hash and Zill. Memory size five, uh, five gigs, which is, seems to be lower than the Jazz Miner, coming in at 25, cool, a cool $25,480. Um, it says at hash coins can be mined up until block height 11,700,000. Um, and that's, and that seems to be because of the DAG size will outgrow the memory of this device. So you know that the clock is ticking if you get one of these, but the uh, the power and the efficiency is fantastic. Looking over at the Jazz Miner uh, X16P, it looks like it's getting 5.8 giga hash at 1900 watts. Uh, this thing doing uh, double that, more than double that, um, with just uh, just about 400 watts more. So uh, definitely more profitable. It looks like the uh, Jazz Miner X16P currently highly profitable ASIC, uh, generating about 30 bucks a day. 24 of that being profit. So very, very profitable on the Jazz Miner. So uh, let's plug in the figures for this new EZ100 and see what it's gonna get. Over here on Mine the ASICs Calculator, they do have a function for ETC and Zill. Uh, electricity will leave at 10 cents. Hash rate is, what was it? Why can't you remember that? 12.8 uh, giga hash, Jesus. So 12,800 giga hash at uh, 2,300 watts. And its equipment price was 24,000, what was it? 24, 25, 480. All right, so plugging those figures in, looks like as of right now, uh, with prices the way they is, uh, 454 day payback. Um, you know, the, the cost of this miner is significant, 25 Gs. Uh, you can get a Toyota Camry or you can get this thing. Uh, costing $5.52 a day uh, for this, $4.56 for the Jazz Miner. So, you know, a buck more to get twice as much. Not bad, not bad at all. $56 bucks a day that this is pulling in. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Looks like every other ASIC. I want to be the I want to be the company that manufactures the housings for ASIC miners. That's that's who's making the real money, right? Uh, anyway, 20 units uh, available for the end of March batch, 50 units available for April. Um, but in April, what will price be doing? Because April, that's the that's the the halvings right then and there. So, you know, if Bitcoin goes down, will ETC and all these other ones go down? Will hash rate shift? Will money shift? It, will it go into alts? Who knows? For T-Swift, yes, this miner is very expensive manufacturer pricing, so it won't be for everyone. However, the efficiency of it is com completely eclipses anything on the market right now, including the Jazz Miner X16P. These ASIC will work on ETC into the end of the year 2028 before the DAG size outgrows the memory. As mentioned, the availability is very, very limited, so if you are interested in pre-ordering this, please let me know as soon as possible. So it certainly pays to be part of some of these groups that uh, announce brand new hardware when it comes out. I mean, I'm, I'm, I have no interest whatsoever in an ETC miner. Uh, I, I think once Ethereum left, that was it for me. I know a lot of people like Ethereum Classic and any of the other coins that are on at hash, but uh, for me personally, I don't really... I really like going on algorithms uh, that don't have a big, big coin on it. And I know like Cas people will say Casp is a big coin, but it's really, you know, it makes me iffy to get an ASIC that doesn't have like a top 10 coin uh, on it. Uh, just so I know that if, if something doesn't work out, my device isn't completely bricked. So me personally, like the state of ASICs that mine big tried and true long-term coins. Um, and once Ethereum left that hash, it just makes no sense for me personally, but maybe it makes sense for you. So I don't have an affiliate code or referral link or anything like that. Uh, check the link to the Telegram channel in the description below if you want to head over there and check it out. I'm sure other people will be talking about this as well, but I'd love to know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Does it make sense to mine coins 
or does it make sense to get ASICs that have algorithms to don't have those big giant coins on them uh, that you can run to for safety? Uh, or do you, would you roll the dice on something like this if it was maybe a little less expensive? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more breaking news like this from the Technicals News Network. Otherwise, I'm the Technicals. See you next time.